Welcome to Nearman 214's Top 10 Favorite Anime, where I list my 10 favorite anime for no other reason than I have nothing else to post right now. Um, number 10, Samurai X, also known as Ruroni Kenshin. Um, this is encompassing the entire OVAs and the anime series. Um, it's my 10 favorite anime because I didn't really enjoy the OVAs. The show, eh, the show was kind of meh. Towards the end, they started getting really ridiculous. The beginning of the show wasn't too bad because it still had the feeling of the first OVAs. But with all Shonen Jump Manga in anime, it kind of lost the point as it went on. Um, some good characters, um, some also some really good action despite the impracticality of a lot of it. But, you know, sword fighting is always cool, especially with the samurais and all that stuff. All things considered a good show and worthy of my number 10 spot. Number 9, Chi Gundam. Yeah, I have a soft spot for the show despite how ridiculously stupid it is. Um, along with Dragon Ball Z, Chi Gundam is what got me into anime back when Toonami actually showed good stuff. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really stupid, I have to admit, but it's fun to watch because it's one of those so bad it's good. Um, I mean, it really is the perfect show for young kids like I was when I first saw it. It's basically Street Fighter 2, but with giant robots, and how can you go wrong with that? The Dome 1 is pretty much just, you know, um, Ryu. And Chibity Crockett is pretty much Ken. Except he doesn't do a sore you, Ken, he boxes instead. But I love the show. It's hilariously stupid, and, well, come on. It's G Gundam. Shining fingers, you know, it's just fun to watch. It always will be, and it will forever be the butt of many jokes. Um, animation is kind of bleh. It's kind of uh, following the Toriyama look of everything, which I can't really fault them for. It. During that whole about six or seven year period, everyone was kind of using the same artistic style, except for maybe Hakuto no Ken, which was kind of different. But, yeah, you know, I just have a soft spot for it. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that instead of using Gundam Wing, which is a much better show, I have to admit, but... I like I like G Gundam more just because I watched it as a kid. And it's it's really silly. It's one of those just blatantly s silly series. Number eight, Gankotsu. Yeah, a lot of you probably don't know what this is, but I saw it at Anime Club and I had to watch the rest of the series. Um, Gankotsu is basically anime Count of Monte Cristo. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, a cartoon version of Count of Monte Cristo. How good could that possibly be? Watch it. The animation is beyond trippy. I mean, really, if if this dude has never done acid, I would fear what he would create if he did. Ugh. Wow. I would. I would actually like to. If I had to watch any anime series while stoned on something, it would be this one, just because it's like, whoa. The story is actually pretty good too, even if it is. Kinda. You can kind of tell what's going on. But the count is actually a really cool character. He looks like a mix of. Dracula, a blue man group guy, and, oh god, I can't remember what character I'm thinking of. It's that really big, um, Dracula-looking dude in the Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu saga. I can't remember who he is, but he kind of looks like a mix between all those, and it's actually pretty sweet. But yeah, Gankotsu, a trippy art, watch it. It is real, it is actually a surprisingly good series that I really enjoyed. It actually managed to climb my way its way pretty high up the list because I really originally gave the series no chance of being good, but I saw it in an anime club during one of our showings, and I really had to just watch the rest of it. Um, yeah, that's my number. What, what are we on? <laughs> oh, that's my number eight show. Number seven is Ga Ray Zero on my list. Yeah, like G Gundam, I'm sure I'm going to get some flack for this, just because, yeah, it is kind of a dumb show in some respects. It suffers a lot of the anime weird quirks of, you know, having a girl use a motorcycle as a weapon, and a woman in a wheelchair having a Gatling gun leg, and flying around in, a, in her wheelchair. It's, yeah, some of it is kind of stupid, and one guy has the most blatant overuse of a drill outside of Gurren Lagann. But I do like the show. I like the dynamic between Yomi and Kagura. As well as the ultimate um, lead into the manga, just playing Gare. But I, I I enjoyed the show. It had a different art design compared to a lot of shows that do 
the same kind of, you know, oh, we're exorcist, go destroy the demons sort of thing. Besides, Yomi has a sword that summons a giant lion cat thing that shoots energy beams. How awesome is that? Um, the other reason I really like the show is because um, my character, Naria, in Naria the Flame, go read it, um, a lot of her um, physical design is based off of Yomi as well as, well, um, uh, her. 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 A little bit of him, and, well, the powers come from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. But I did like the show. Uh, it had a good ending to it, even if it was blatantly overdramatic at some point. But, eh, good show. Do check it out. It's only about, what, 12 episodes long? And it, it didn't outstay its wel welcome, which is a... I will give points to a show that doesn't outstay its welcome. That was my number seven pick. My number six pick is Trigun. Trigun along with Cowboy Bebop were really the first two serious anime I ever watched when they were on, still on Adult Swim. Back when Adult Swim was actually good in showing original material, but whatever. I do like Trigun because one, it's the only time I've ever enjoyed a Johnny Young Boss performance. And basically after this show we started doing the same voice for everything. Ichigo Kurosaki. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good show. It actually has a good plot that kind of gets weird at the end. But it's a, it's a nice kind of twist where you would never have seen it coming unless you've seen it beforehand. <laughs> the only characters I don't like are the two insurance girls, and I can't remember their names for the life of me now. They're kind of annoying, but everyone else I really do like. It has a good plot, it has a good premise, has some good action, and it's actually kind of funny. I mean, yeah, a guy eats donuts running around all sad and stuff. It's pretty funny. And it's... The, really the only real old-school Wild West kind of looking anime that actually pulls it off well. Um, yeah, I actually don't have much to say. I just really love the show and couldn't really get enough of it. It's the only show outside of a very select few that I actually watched multiple times on Adult Swim when they were still showing it. So yeah, Trigun is my number six spot.